Hello, my name's Dominic Fonte with Cutler Real Estate. I've been in the real estate business for over 32 years, and I've helped over 2,000 families buy or sell a home. To find out more, check out my reviews at DominicFonte.com. If you're wondering what your house is worth, go to DomWhatsMyHouseWorth.com to get a complimentary home evaluation. That's DomWhatsMyHouseWorth.com. Or you can reach me at 330-418-1535. Thank you and your team for being constant companions and friends. You have gotten me through many, many years. News Talk 1480 WHBC. Live from the WHBC Broadcast Center. Find out more about area businesses, agencies, and events. It's what's going on right now. This is Spotlight. <laughs> Well, good Monday morning to everyone. John Bozica, 1480 WHBC, as it is, uh, of course, another spotlight on Star County this morning. Uh, hope all of you had a great weekend with uh, Thanksgiving weekend this past weekend and uh, enjoyed everything. But uh, as we do many times here on WHBC, I'm in a spotlight on Star County today on a Monday. And today's spotlight is for Dominic Fonte uh, with uh, Dominic Fonte at Dom, what's my house worth.com, Dominic Fonte and Associates. There he is. You can see him on our screen right now. If you're watching online on Facebook and if you're listening at home on 1480 WHBC, you will hear his voice now. Dom, how are you this morning? I'm doing good, John. Happy uh, Monday to you, buddy. Yeah, you as well. You as well, Dom. So, uh, you know, I know that you and I talked, what, about two, three months ago, and uh, we were kind of in the, in the, heart of the pandemic then we're in the heart of the pandemic now and um i think one of the amazing things that i was noticing dom is just how much you continue to help families through the process of everything right now despite everything going on you haven't stopped have you no not at all um you know it's interesting you know there's perception and reality so uh, you hear a lot of things on the news that scare you to death and you know i see all spectrums of what people are experiencing and feeling, it's scary. Uh, when you don't really know what's gonna happen and you're scared, you tend to pause. And so my mission is really to just explain if you are in a market to do um, either a buy or sell or trade or exchange or rent, you know, I think it's important to be an informed decision maker. So my goal always is, is to, you know, walk in your shoes and, and think about the way that maybe you're concerned uh, the concerns you may have, you hear everything and you just got to parse through the data and try to figure out really, you know, what is the safest, best way to do this? Or is it even a good time to do it? I mean, I hear so many things. So my job is really to just try to educate the clients, uh, you know, to kind of go where they are, depending on education level of uh, afraid, not afraid, uh, you know, looking at the interest rates, looking at all the factors that affect our life. And real estate is one of the main things I think that affect our life because, you know, you raise your family, uh, you know, you can customize it as a safe spot. It's affordable. So I think it's real important to just make sure you're an informed decision maker uh, so that you're a happy decision maker. So fear is not the way you want to go. You want to go with facts and education. So when it comes to this year, though, I mean, since things are different, you know, things aren't the same as they were last year at this time. Right. Um, you know, I mean, is there like a learning curve even for yourself this year, Dom, that that you're kind of learning things on the fly as well? Well, I mean, I think my biggest thing I learned this year is not to curse the wind, but adjust my sail. Um, resilience is an important thing. And I think that's what's affecting everybody because we're in a different paradigm shift. Um, you know, it's just like right now I'm sitting here in a bedroom talking to you on the radio, whereas in the old days we used to get on the radio and talk. Uh, so you know, we're just basically, you know, crafting new ways to communicate our message to try to inform and educate. And I think, you know, all facets of businesses, including, you know, the hospitality industry, which I think they have it the worst right now, because, you know, a lot of people, you know, they count on people to show up and, and use their services in order to survive. So, you know, I think it's just like everything, all businesses have to, you know, learn about online platforms, how to do things safely. Um, you know, just, you know, obviously when you buy real estate, for example, you're not going to buy it online without looking at it, walking through it, touching it, smelling it, you know, checking it out. 
so, but there's ways of changing and using technology to help uh, narrow that search down to make it a lot easier and quicker for the clients, especially uh, with the, the pandemic, because you want to make sure that you're being safe about it. A man with over 275 star reviews at DominicFonte.com. That's pretty good last time I checked. And that means that he knows what he's talking about. Uh, <laughs> that is Dominic Fonte, who's with me right now from uh, Dominic Fonte and Associates. So, uh, Dom, one of the things that I wanted to know is how is the real estate market uh, doing since the start of this pandemic itself? Um, I think in, you know, everything, if you remember when this happened, it really was early January uh, when we got word that we had some problems. Now, when you think about uh, the buying and selling cycle, generally speaking, you know, there's seasonality. So usually, you know, you have the, you know, January, February, March is a little colder. Uh, usually March, April, May, and June, you know, uh, the market really picks up steam. Uh, the difference, though, this year is March 15th, they locked the, the state down and, you know, essential workers got to work. So we were considered essential, but a lot of people just paused. So I would say, you know, March, April, May, when you normally would see a strong buying cycle, I saw a big pause. Uh, so we quickly had to figure out how to figure out what's going on. I mean, you know, we didn't really know. It's not like in my lifetime uh, I've ever experienced this, you know. So I quickly uh, made some adjustments. So what I did is I have sellers that had to sell regardless of uh, pandemic. For example, you know, there were people that maybe lost a loved one and they had to sell their home, possibly went into a nursing home and, um, you know, or relocated type of thing. So I just uh, went online with a virtual walkthrough and interacted with my camera without people around to try to pretend like if, if I were taking you through the house, how would you experience that? You know, and I would show you not just glamour things, but I'd show you like the electric box or the, you know, the furnace and, you know, maybe the view out the window, the kitchen window, things like that, that you would normally want if you walked through the house. So the concept really that I was trying to do is figure this out and quickly roll out there with this publicly. And when I did that, you know, it was just sort of by accident in a way, because I was trying to figure out how to adjust my sale instead of curse the wind, right? Well, what happened was as a result of that, it really, you know, that plus I did some video clips on, you know, the pandemic, what was happening, what I knew about, and I tried to always keep that information out there. Uh, so then what happened was the April, May and June business that normally is the peak of the business. It's like the Black Friday of real estate, um, you know, and the rates were seasonally low at that time, although they dropped quite a bit lower. Um, you know, I saw a lot of activity uh, later in the summer. So like, you know, June, July, August, instead of April, May, and June. So for me personally, um, you know, I helped probably more families this year than ever. Uh, so there were a lot of people that needed assistance. So I did everything I could to, uh, in a safe, uh, educated way, walk them through the process, uh, based on where they were. And it seems to be very successful. So I think overall, you know, it's just like readjusting, uh, you know, your mindset. And this goes for all of us, including your business, even. Absolutely. You know, as you said, this is a lot different this year. Normally we'd be in studio with you, but this year uh, talking to you via uh, video, as well as uh, people listening on the radio right now, right. Dominic Fonte from uh, Dominic Fonte and Associates. Uh, Dom, one more thing I wanted to ask you before we get to a break here, our first break of the hour, is this, you know, I mean, when it comes to, you said that you are showing new ways to show a house and new ways to show off real estate. How has the reception been from people that are experiencing those virtual tours? Are they still happy with the home buying experience? Absolutely. Um, so, so if you have to think of it, like uh, everybody's a little different. So you have to look at each and everybody's case. So I don't know what is in everybody's mind. So what I do is I try to think of it through you know, maybe if I was a potential buyer, you know, when you think about the process, John, um, between the age of 25 and 75, maybe you go through the buying or selling experience possibly three times, you know, so it isn't like an everyday occurrence. So now that I've done this over 22, 2300 times, I try to really remember what the fears, concerns, and then you add COVID on top of it. So what I try to do is, is I try to, um, um, sort of infuse that concept thinking through your shoes through your brain 
uh, how can I walk you through this in a safe format? And so what's interesting now is that prior to this, a lot of people used the internet uh, to search and to look at photos, look at tours, look at different things. So the, the twist or the spin that I put on it was, is I made it more interactive. And, and like I said, the, and this was just by accident, really, because I was just trying to think how to do this. Um, usually, I would do a virtual tour, do a lot of photos, have professional photography, so that people can kind of look online and narrow down their search, like we've, we've been doing for several years now since the internet. Well, the twist now is, is that if I'm online right now, like I am, and I'm looking for a house to move my family to from out of state, in state, because you know, remember everything is on, on the internet now. Uh, but to di differentiate what I was trying to accomplish was, is if I w walked in this house that you're looking at potentially buying, you know, you want to see every angle. Like if you're washing dishes in front of the kitchen sink, you want to see what the view is out the back while the kids are playing in the backyard. Or you might want to see what the street view is. You might want to see what the basement feels like if there's a wet spot in the corner or maybe if there's an old fuse box or a breaker box. So those are things that I scan through that I never used to do on a virtual walkthrough. You would show the beautiful kitchen or the bathroom and, you know, the open concept, right? So what we're trying to do now, this is just me trying to do this. And I, I have three of them to do today, actually. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do three virtual walkthroughs today. And, um, you know, so I always post them online. And believe it or not, I had one person from Florida saw the virtual tour and wanted to make a bid right on the spot. Now, that's usually un unusual because they want to usually see the and experience it. But, you know, the market's a little hot right now. So you got to move. If you sleep on it you don't sleep in it. So you got to move kind of timely. <laughs> you know, it's an interesting concept, really. Dominic Fonte from uh, Dominic Fonte and Associates, our Monday spotlight on Stark County. Dominic, we're going to take a break here. Uh, and when we return, we'll continue the discussion getting into right. uh, things such as supply and demand. We'll get into where the prices are at this year, how they differ from previous years, and so much more this morning on the spotlight on Stark County. It's Dominic Fonte and Associates. We'll be right back. Love the show. Thank God for radio. I don't know where we'd be without it. Oh, yeah. Listen to you, Bailey. Your station is so informative. News Talk 1480 WHBC. Hey, Canton. Thanks for listening. All right. You ready for this? It's just amazing how we help each other. That's a good point. That's a great point, actually. We'll take your calls. 330-450-1480. Do you have Medicare and Medicaid? Then Molina Healthcare has your back. Our Molina Medicare Complete Care Plan gives you lots of extra money saving benefits like dental coverage, vision, hearing, over the counter items, and more. And these are on top of the Medicare and Medicaid benefits you already have. Plus, our Molina plan makes it easy to manage your Medicare and Medicaid coverages. Switch to Molina by December 7th so you'll be covered on January 1st, 2021. Go to selectmolinamore.com or call 866 939 0478. We'll help you enroll right over the phone. Call 866-939-0478. If you have Medicare and Medicaid, lean on Molina for the extra benefits you deserve. Molina Medicare Complete Care HMO SMP is a health plan with a Medicare contract and a contract with the state Medicaid program. Enrollment in Molina Medicare Complete Care depends on contract renewal. Product offered by Molina Healthcare of Ohio, Inc., a wholly owned subsidiary of Molina Healthcare, Inc. This is the Magnet Manufacturing Minute with a focus on Northeast Ohio manufacturers brought to you by Magnet. Today's spotlight is on the Torsion Group. Mark, introduce yourself and your company. My name is Mark Delcatera, and I'm the president and CEO of Torsion Group Corp, or TGC. TGC is headquartered in Strongsville, Ohio, and we manufacture and distribute residential and commercial garage door parts. TGC has a great relationship with the Magnet team and has worked on countless projects with them. This would include everything from facilitation of strategic planning to helping with complex supply chain issues. With our limited resources, Magnet has been instrumental in supporting our day-to-day -day activities. This Manufacturing Minute is brought to you by Magnet, serving Northeast Ohio's manufacturers. For more information, check Magnet out online at manufacturingsuccess.org.
There's something about the holiday season that makes everyone smile. Hot cocoa, being with family, maybe even some shopping for those we love. But there's really only one thing that can make us just a little bit happier. I'm talking about Heggie's Candies. Caramels, pastels, salted nuts, and of course, chocolates. Since 1923, Heggie's in Canton has been the go-to location for all of your holiday candies. Then Heggie Candy Company, 743 Cleveland Avenue Northwest, across the street from St. Peter Church in Canton. Hello, my name's Dominic Fonte with Cutler Real Estate. I've been in the real estate business for over 32 years, and I've helped over 2,000 families buy or sell a home. To find out more, check out my reviews at DominicFonte.com. If you're wondering what your house is worth, go to DomWhatsMyHouseWorth.com to get a complimentary home evaluation. That's DomWhatsMyHouseWorth.com. Or you can reach me at 330-418-1535. Thank you and your team for being constant companions and friends. You have gotten me through many, many years. News Talk 1480 WHBC. And we welcome you back into Spotlight on Stark County this Monday morning. John Bozica along with you as our Spotlight this Monday morning is Dominic Fonte and Associates, of, of course, uh, Realty on the Mind this morning and uh, the house buying experience, the home buying experience on the mind. Uh, Dominic, before we get into some of the questions, I wanted people to know what your contact info was and uh, where they can find information on you just so that they know as they're listening to this. Um, you can go to my website, DominicFonte.com. That's www.DominicFonte.com. And there's information on my website, but there's also over 278 reviews, five-star reviews. And if you read through those reviews, my mom didn't write them, I promise. But more importantly, it'll give you an idea of what you'll experience if we work together. And even though I've been doing this, uh, actually it'll be heading on 33 years here, February 1 will be the start of my 33rd year. Um, even though I've helped many, many families go through the process, I'm very empathetic and, and compassionate about what people go through. You know, the way I started uh, my career, you know, I started at the bottom of the barrel, had to work my way up. So I'm very understanding on what people's life situations are. And obviously um, you can reach me anytime at 330-418-1535. Um, you know, or if you want to send me an email, that's okay too. Dominic at DominicFonte.com. But yeah, feel free anytime. Uh, you know, it's no problem to talk over the phone. Uh, we can even do video. There's other tools and technologies. It's just sometimes it's hard to learn all these these interesting things we have to do, right, John? It, it really is. It's unique. There's always learning curves. <laughs> it's different. It's unique. It's uh, not like it was last year at this time. That's Boy, you got that right. I'm sure. So I hear that prices of houses are going up. Uh, is that true at this time? Despite the pandemic, I would think it would go the other way, wouldn't it? Right. That's what you would think. But there, there's a unique dynamic going on right now. So um, <clears throat> if you think about it, it's always based on supply and demand. So there's a few factors, I'd say three. Uh, one is supply and demand. That means how many homes are on the market and how many buyers are in the market at that time. So that's supply and demand. Uh, the second thing would be interest rates, you know, um, you know, what the interest rates are doing, the perception versus reality. We can touch on that as well. Um, you know, and then I think the, the third thing is consumer confidence. So if you feel good about the economy, you feel good about your investments, you feel good about your job security, you just feel happy. It seems like you tend to loosen the purse uh, strings a little bit. If you're scared or uncomfortable or not sure about the election, not sure about the economy, COVID, you know, is the world going to end? <clears throat> I, I find that when we're you know, not sure about things, we tend to like pull back. I think that's human nature. And so honestly, my whole, this whole thing of how I've been so blessed and successful is it doesn't matter about buying or selling. It matters about educating the clients on where they're at in their lives, what's their situation, what's their fears, concerns. And I address those. And sometimes people will buy, sometimes they sell, sometimes they don't. Sometimes we talk them out of all those things because we have to do what's in the client's best interest. So the only way I can do that is to try to have a conversation and try to understand where they're at. Because a lot of times, you know, 
people are emotional because like real estate isn't just financial, it's emotional. So sometimes I think people, you know, get scared or, and they're reacting, you know, so, so I always say, instead of responding, they're reacting. Uh, sometimes emotionally we react, you know, we, we, we panic. And so my job is to be the calm educational voice to help you be that informed decision maker so that you don't make any rash decisions. Uh, but the rate, the prices are on the rise. And the reason why is because of supply and demand. So those three things, consumer confidence, interest rates <laughs> and supply and demand. So uh, the, the housing prices now, remember now everything's in your backyard. So if you're in a certain, you know, suburb or a certain area, the price appreciation is slightly different, right? So it would be anywhere from 4% to 18%, depending on where you're at. So if you happen to be a potential home seller and you're trying to figure this out, what we would have to do is take a look, you know, at your house, look at the jurisdiction in the area and the time of year and see what the actual surrounding properties are doing. That gives us a guide on where we think the market's going to be. So that would be basically how we figure it out for each individual case. But in general, the prices are on the rise, the interest rates are on the low and the supply, the supply is low. So that's why it's you know more expensive now because there's less people or less properties for the people that want to buy right now. Dominic, one of the things that I was thinking about is Dominic Fonte and Associates is our uh, Monday morning spotlight on Stark County here. One of the things I was thinking about, because you mentioned it there, whether it's the pandemic, the election, all of those things falling on the same year. Right. I mean, that, that has to play into the home buying experience probably more than any of us even think it does. But how much, I guess, turmoil is spent for the home buyer thinking about those things before they actually make a move on a house? Well, I think, you know, like I, I hear both sides of it. You know, some people are like, well, if Trump gets in, we're good. If Biden gets in, we're not good. So I think it's just all perception. Honestly, you have to look a little deeper when it comes to the real estate market. So the one of the questions I'm hearing a lot about now is, you know, geez, these prices are going up so quick. Maybe we shouldn't buy now. Maybe we should just wait and see what happens with the election. Or let's wait and see what happens next year, you know, with the stock market. Uh, again, you know, how you have to look at this is this. Look at the long view. Never look at short term. Don't let the emotions uh, guide your decision. You always look at the facts. So I always would say to my customers, get a sheet of paper, put a big, you know, like a cross like this, a T pluses, minuses. And then what you do is you try to make your decision on what is, what's your life goal? What are you trying to accomplish? And, you know, when you look at the rates being historically low at two point, let's see, I just looked, it was like the averages uh, on a conventional loan is like 2.78. Now you wouldn't remember this, John, but I guarantee your parents would. Um, the interest rates just a few years ago were almost 4%, like three years ago. So that's like a hundred dollars a month savings on a hundred fifty thousand dollar house, you know, just by that little difference in rate. Um, so I think a lot of times when you look at the pluses and minuses of your current situation, then you can always make that logical decision on is this right for me or not. Now, as far as like the unknowns, the election or the stock market or the pandemic, no matter what happens. We're going to get up the next day. I don't care who's president. I don't care if there's a pandemic or not. We still are going to get up the next day and we have to continue living our life and, and taking care of our families and helping the people that are in need. And there are people in need. So I think that's the goal really to do that. And you do that from not reacting, but responding to the logical side of things. So that's really what I focus on. And it seems to be uh, very successful, honestly. Dominic Fonte from uh, Dominic Fonte and Associates is our Monday morning uh, spotlight on Star County. We'll take a break. We'll have more with Dominic right after this. You know the best way to start your morning? Relax. We brought you to the best place in town. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. 1480 WHBC and WHBC.com. Is your child feeling isolated from their friends and family? Isolation can lead to loneliness, depression, substance use, or self-harm. Child and adolescent behavioral health can make a difference. Call 330-433-6075. As hard as this year has been, our wonderful SARTA drivers and other staff have responded with grace and courage. Shout out to these men and women who have stepped up. These road warriors have been at the front line of keeping our riders and community safe. 
From showing up every day, no matter the risk, to countless hours sanitizing and disinfecting buses, our team has gone above and beyond to keep our riders safe. Thank you for supporting us, even through the tough times. Visit SardaOnline.com to learn about our safety precautions. What do you call a group of friends who wear the same jersey for good luck, no matter how old it is, and who support their team through thick and thin, week after week, as if the very season depended on it while drinking Miller Lite? You call it Miller Time, all football season long. Here's to the original light beer. It's Miller Time. Celebrate responsibly. 2020 Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The families we serve at the Packley and Packley Arnold Lynch Funeral Homes are our top priority. During concerning times such as the current COVID-19 event, we want to share our plans with you. We want to assure you that we are all in this together. We are closely monitoring and following all guidelines from the CDC, National Funeral Directors, and Ohio Funeral Directors Associations, and local and state emergency services. We have set in place new measures to help protect and accommodate the elderly, sick, and members of the public. And we will make every effort to accommodate families in making arrangements and conducting services in any capacity needed to ensure their safety and comfort while honoring their loved one. Again, the staff of the Packley and Packley Arnold Lynch Funeral Homes are here to serve, protect, and honor each family we serve. If you have any questions or concerns, please call Joe at 330-333-3222. Carolers! That's the holiday spirit. Speaking of which, Simply Safe Home Security is having a huge holiday sale. Right now, you can get 50% off a new system and a free camera at simplysafe.com slash holiday. That's 50% off the system U.S. News named the best of 2020. Simply Safe protects your whole home 24-7 with monitoring by professionals. The sale ends soon, so go to simplysafe.com slash holiday for 50% off and a free camera today. I'm Terry from Verndale's Water Center. Do your back a favor and call Verndale's for a convenient home or office delivery of salt or bottled water. At Verndale's Water Center, we do the heavy lifting for you. Verndale's Water Center. Tap into Verndale. WHBC AM 10. Reliable as ever on News Talk 1480 WHBC. From the News Talk 1480 WHBC Newsroom. Today is Cyber Monday, but it looks like online deals have ruled since Friday. Retailers say those sales over the Internet were up 22 percent. In-store shopping dropped 54 percent. There are more deals out there to be had today. Police in Toronto, Ohio, near Steubenville, are investigating a bizarre case of child neglect. They showed up to a home last week and found a two- and three-year-old boy trapped inside a room. Their mother left them locked in that room when she went to work. One of the two boys actually got the neighbor's attention to call police by hanging out the window and throwing clothes into the yard. Summa Health in Akron joining the Cleveland Clinic and sidelining most of its elective procedures. Officials with those health systems say they will start that tomorrow. Fresh off the heels of Saturday's bout, many wondering what got Mike Tyson interested in fighting again. He says he took toad venom. To get back into shape and train, doctors say that's a psychedelic drug that is six times more potent than some hallucinogenics. His fight against Roy Jones Jr. ended in a draw. A story in honor of the beginning of deer gun season. A deer in the Czech Republic figured out how to avoid getting shot by a hunter. Take his rifle away. The deer was grazing when it was startled by a hunter. The deer charged the man and in the fracas, the deer got the strap of the hunter's rifle caught around one of his antlers. He then took off with it. President-elect Joe Biden will be seen in a walking boot now. He suffered a fractured ankle while playing with his dogs over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. More news coming up at 10 o'clock. I'm Pam Cook. Your severe weather station. News Talk 1480 WHBC. Here's your AccuWeather forecast. Periods of rain today becoming windy. That rain will change the snow late in the day with little or no accumulation, high 43. Cloudy and windy with periods of snow tonight through tomorrow into tomorrow night with a storm total accumulation of snow, 4 to 8 inches. Low tonight, 31. High tomorrow, 33. Sunshine Wednesday, brisk and chilly, high 37. 
I'm Mike Lucini for News Talk 1480 WHBC. Have you visited the News Talk 1480 WHBC channel yet? It's WHBC on YouTube. Search for our channel at News Talk 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, on YouTube. Hello, my name's Dominic Fonte with Cutler Real Estate. I've been in the real estate business for over 32 years, and I've helped over 2,000 families buy or sell a home. To find out more, check out my reviews at DominicFonte.com. If you're wondering what your house is worth, go to DomWhatsMyHouseWorth.com to get a complimentary home evaluation. That's DomWhatsMyHouseWorth.com. Or you can reach me at 330-418-1535. Love the show. Thank God for radio. I don't know where we'd be without it. Oh, yeah. Listen to you daily. Your station is so informative. News Talk 1480 WHBC. John Bozica, 1480 WHBC. Spotlight on Stark County on a Monday morning. And our spotlight today is Dominic Fonte and Associates. As uh, we bring Dominic back into the fray now, if you're watching on video on Facebook, you may be uh, listening at home at 1480 WHBC. A hundred ways to catch us this morning. Uh, Dominic, just like we started the last, I'm gonna, I want to start this segment kind of the same way. Uh, for people that are listening, that are just tuning in, where can they find out more information on you so that they can check things out again as they're watching or listening to the program this morning? Um, I would say you could go to www.dominicfonte.com and click on my reviews. I think, honestly, if I were looking to hire an agent, word of mouth is always best, but I always still check them out, uh, no matter what services we offer. So go to dominicfonte.com, click on my reviews. I have, I think, 278 five-star reviews. If you read through the process, that can explain what you'd experience if you work with me and my group. Um, I highly recommend that because you only do it two or three times in your life. You don't want to screw it up, right? Uh, happy decision maker. That's what you want to be. And I'm there to help you every step of the way. You can also call me at 330-418-1535 or send me an email at dominic at dominicfonte.com. I know we had a comment uh, on Facebook from uh, Dan Sell so that he bought a, uh, or he's bought seven homes over the last years. And, uh, uh, Dominic, he said you were by far uh, the best guy to deal with when it came to any of those, and he highly recommends you. Uh, so we thank uh, Dan Sell for uh, commenting that this morning, and I'm sure you remember the experience. I sure do. Dan's a great guy. Yeah, they they have like um, they moved back here. He used to be in the, uh, the uh, record business, moved back from California, he and his wife back to family, and bought a business. And uh, he's a very successful businessman. And I also. Helped his father-in-law, which was a sweet, sweet man. I know he just passed this year, but uh, man, what a <clears throat> what a lovely family. Uh, yeah, this has just been a crazy, crazy year. But thanks, Dan. Say hi to the family. So when it comes to this year, what is the average amount of time that if you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, what's the average amount of time that it might be on the market this year, considering everything that we know about the craziness of 2020? Well, you know, <clears throat> it's always three things, location, the condition of the property, you know, and the price. So as a seller, let's just use it as we're talking about selling your home as an example. So the location's a given. So for example, if I'm a prospective buyer, you know, I might want to say, you know, I'm interested in a specific, you know, school system or a, a little town or city type of thing where hiking trails are. So the location's a given. The only thing you control as a seller is the condition that you leave it in and the price that you price it at. Now, the agent's job is to kind of give you some guidance there. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's really the seller's decision. So those are the three main things. So if those three things are in sync, uh, the average market time is like under 30 days. So that's that's pretty impressive. So that means that your house will go under contract. You know, the average is like 21 days. Uh, but again, you know, if you're in a suburb, it might be a little quicker, might be one day. Uh, if you're in the city, in another area, it might be 30 days, 40 days. But I'd say on average across the United States, it's in the 20s, 20 days. Are people holding off on the process of buying and selling, though, or, or well, is it something that, that they're still doing? 
you know, like I said, today I have three uh, sellers that want to sell. And of course, you know, one is mom passed away. Um, you know, another one is she's moving to Florida, you know, the warm climate. Uh, and then the other one is, uh, you know, investor fixed the house up, you know, detailed it out. So I, I always have different variations, but yeah, things are still happening. Um, but I think there are some people that are, you know, pausing because they're not sure what's going to happen after the election. They're not sure, you know, they're just not sure because, you know, the mayor is, or I mean, the governor is going to talk again today, talk about a lockdown, no lockdown, you know? So I think sometimes, you know, it, it has to do with your personal situation and the consumer confidence or fear factor will drive a lot of the decision, which again, this is reacting uh, versus responding. So I think it's just important to be, that's, I think what the message I'd like to get out to anybody and everybody is that an informed decision maker. So there's strong statistics, regardless of what's, you know, who the president is, regardless of what the, what's happening in the world, you know, I think you just have to look now, if you're in the restaurant business, yes, that's a really tough situation to be in because, you know, um, you're kind of like, they're shutting down your business because of the pandemic, which is beyond your control. So, you know, in a case like that, your, your hands are tied. There's nothing you can do. But if you have a job where, you know, you're just working from home and you're working differently, I think it's just, you know, you have to, you know, adjust your sale and decide, you know, the interest rates are historically low. So some people are just sitting tight and refinancing their home, paying off some debt. Uh, you know, the people today are in a better equity position than they were say up leading up to 08. So I think in general, you know, you have to look deeply inside um, logically what each and everybody's case is. That's my job is to educate you in that, that format uh, so that you're going to be making uh, not a reactive decision, but a responsive decision. You know, so I just think it's just each and every case needs to be looked at. Dominic Fonte and Associates are uh, Monday morning spotlight on Stark County. Dominic, uh, we'll take a break here, uh, and then we'll return and uh, talk to you about uh, your winter buying and selling guides that are coming out here soon in December. Uh, all of that again when we return on the Spotlight on Star County. Thank you and your team for being constant companions and friends. You have gotten me through many, many years. News Talk 1480 WHBC. My name is Kate Courtley, and this is my new show, Can You Survive This Podcast? I'll be drawing on my years as a former Navy SEAL platoon commander, sniper, and CIA contractor. The show is designed to teach you techniques that will increase your chances of survival if you happen to find yourself or your family in any life-threatening disaster scenario imaginable. Subscribe and listen for free on Spotify. Can You Survive This Podcast? Napa know-how. At Napa, you can get 20% off three or more items with the $4.99 Napa tool bag. Yep, 20% off power tools, 20% off wipers, 20% off oil, and more. It's a whole bag of tricks. Well, actually, it's one trick over and over again, but it's a good one, saving you 20% on three or more items. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. At participating locations, exclusions apply. May not be combined with other offers. Offer ends 113020. At Packley, we pride ourselves on serving families in Maslin and the surrounding areas with dignity, respect, and compassion. Recently, our country and the world has been tested. As funeral service providers, we don't have the option to close down because there wouldn't be anyone to take care of your loved ones who pass away. Here at the Packley Funeral Home, serving our families is our number one priority. But with the ongoing issues with COVID-19, so is the health and wellness of those we serve as well as our staff. It would be a disservice to our community if we engage in the pandemonium. So we will continue business as usual while also following state and local guidelines. We provide hand sanitizer in both chapels, place any signage about limiting social distance if a family requests it, and we will be thoroughly cleaning the funeral home with the new CDC guidelines after funerals and visitations. Visit us at 1100 Wales Road Northeast in Maslin or tour our facility online at packley.com. Packley Funeral Home, serving our community with grace and compassion.
Holiday shopping is different at Boot Barn this year. Boot Barn created faster, safer, and easier ways to shop this holiday season. Learn more at bootbarn.com slash bootbarnexpress. No crowded malls, no delayed deliveries. Boot Barn, unwrap the West. Hello, my name's Dominic Fonte with Cutler Real Estate. I've been in the real estate business for over 32 years, and I've helped over 2,000 families buy or sell a home. To find out more, check out my reviews at dominicfonte.com. If you're wondering what your house is worth, go to domwhatsmyhouseworth.com to get a complimentary home evaluation. That's domwhatsmyhouseworth.com. Or you can reach me at 330-418-1535. Live and local. How's that sound? And you're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC. Following on Clark County continues on 1480 WHBC, Dominic Fonte and Associates, John Bozica along with you this morning. And we bring in Dominic again now, uh, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or whether you're listening over the airwaves at 1480 WHBC, all of those are possible this morning because of our pandemic field year that has been different. And uh, we don't have Dominic in studio with us, but still able to discuss it with him like this. Uh, one last time, Dom, because uh, last segment of the day here, but I wanted to get all the information again. Can't say it enough for people. Um, where can they find you? Where can they get more information? And uh, where can they check out some of the, the home buying deals and experiences that they may get? You can go to DominicFonte.com, which is my website. You can see reviews, bunch of information. Uh, you can reach me at my cell, 330-418-1535, or send me an email. Um, that would be Dominic at DominicFonte.com. Or, you know, in some cases, I got this really nice tool. It's um, You can go to, you know, plug in your URL in your computer and go to Dom, what's my house worth, dot com and you can plug in your address and it'll send you a, it's kind of like an algorithm, a robot in a way, it'll send you all the data around your house. Now it hasn't seen your home. So of course, you know, it doesn't know what improvements, what things you've done. So it's a ballpark, uh, but it's really a cool feature and it comes out with a bunch of information, photos and everything uh, within about 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, but if you need a more accurate evaluation, feel free to you know reach out to me anytime. You just give me a ring, 330-418. 1535. So your winter buying and selling guides, I teased this before we went to the break there and uh, I know they're coming out in December. Um, could you take people through the process of what's going to be in those and uh, where they can pick those up and how those will be helpful to those looking at the home buying experience? Well, I mean, <clears throat> there's a myriad of information out there and it's just always trying to understand, you know, fact from fiction. Uh, there's always like news articles and, and you know, you hear all this information. So how do you parse this information into understanding what's for real? And like I said, you only do it two or three times, maybe four in your whole life. So you don't want to screw it up. And it's real easy. So these guys were put together. They're 20, 30 pages, color pages of uh, jam-packed information pertaining if you're on the buying side, what kind of concerns, what kind of things are important to know. I mean, obviously... If you're a buyer today and you're not prepared, let me tell you, it's it's like going to Cedar Point without being strapped in on a roller coaster. Um, you know, so you have to be prepared. You know, it's kind of like looking for the sunset. You don't look east for the sunset. You got to look west, right? Uh, so I think as a guide, it's very important to be an informed decision maker. So that's the, the basis of these books are to give you practical, logical information so that you don't react, you respond. And the buying side, you know, awesome book. Selling side, same thing. Uh, because there's different things that happen depending on what side of the, the spectrum you're on. And so I'm, I'm geared to give you as much information from your perspective, not mine. Obviously, I do this all the time and it's not a big deal, right? But, you know, if you do this two or three times, it's a big deal. And, and I always want to be cognizant of that, you know, understanding that this is a big deal. Doesn't matter if it's a $100,000 house or if it's a million dollar house. I've sold them all, big and small. So I want you to always feel comfortable that I'm your resource and I want you always to feel comfortable to reach out to me anytime. No pressure. I want you to be an informed decision maker because I want you to be a happy decision maker. What advice do you have for a potential buyer or a potential seller at this time, Dom? 
Well, you know, obviously you have to look at what your current situation is. And sometimes it's hard because if you live in a family or you have a, you know, a partner or something like that, you know, everybody has different ideas. You know, many times opposites attract. So, you know, one person's thinking one way, one person's thinking, let's say, for example, one person's more worried about the money and the other one just wants like, you know, all these nice features, right? And so as a family dynamic, you're trying to put, you know, it's kind of like, I got East and West and how do we come together and compromise with limited choices, right? And so I think it's important to always look at the pluses and minuses to the decision so that at the end of the day, you're making a logical decision. Of course you want everything, but you know, you're making a logical decision. And, you know, you can always, I'd say locations like the most important thing, get the best location and don't be afraid to do a little bit to the house. It's easy to do. And if you have a good guide like me, I have resources so I can help you figure out who the painter, the plumber, electrical, you know, there's little things that need to be done. And I also have another book that I offer. And again, how to get these books, you just send me an email and I can send you a link and you can download the book. But basically the other book is, is how do you take a look, say for example, in the nineties, oak cabinets were a big thing. Well, my mom and dad, they would be like turning over in their grave if they saw someone paint those oak cabinets. But the young people, they want it all white. They want pretty white and grays and different things like that. Uh, so I have a book that shows you the before and after so that you can envision. I think a lot of times people struggle with having the vision to how to take something. It's kind of like the dented wagon. You know, I'm just going to throw it away and buy a new wagon. No, you can just fix that up real nice. So don't be afraid to do that. And that's part an important part of the process is to, like I said, look at all the options. It gives you more choices. And then at the end of the day, you got the lowest interest rates in 30 years. My goodness, maybe longer. Uh, but, you know, so I would say definitely have a have an appointment with me. I'll educate you every step of the way. I'm laughing because uh, my fiance, Ali, uh, when she and I have talked about how we want to buy a house in the future, she always mentions the grays and the whites. And I'm like telling you. Hey, so, hey, John, seriously, I got this book. I'll share it with you sometime. And, <laughs> and she'll go home and she'll be like this, you know. Oh, my goodness. See, I told you I know what I like. It's like amazing gray and the off white and the brushed nickel and you know, natural light. I mean, plank flooring. I mean, it's just I could write a book on it. Well, actually, I do have a book on it, two books. <laughs> well, so, and that's the, that, that's the thing, Dom, is that Dominic Fonte and Associates are uh, spotlight on Star County this morning, and and he's been in the business for what? You're going on 33 years now. I think yeah, you said 30, it. in February one will be my start of my 33rd year. So, I mean, which is hard to believe. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't I'm an old man. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like you, you have all of this knowledge. You can play all of this into it. You can play all these stories into it. And because of that, I'm sure that makes the experience with those that work with you that much better, doesn't it? The fact that you know, I mean, you, you have an idea of what they're thinking, don't you? Uh, sad to say, yes. <laughs> I could write a book on it and someday I will if I ever get around to it. It's, it's amazing. I mean, I helped 2,300 families go through this process one by one. And let me tell you, it is, you know, I have stories, your head would explode. It's just amazing. And, you know, I try to help everybody every step of the way. So, um, you know, I want you to be happy because honestly, um, this isn't like manufacturing car parts. So, you, you know, and, and all agents aren't created equal. So, you, you know, there's something to be said for 2,300 families. Do you think that would be an advantage for you to work with me possibly? What do you think? I think it would be. I think yeah, it'd be definitely. Advantage especially in this time where uh, yeah. people are uncertain about things. Uh, Dominic, one last time this morning, uh, I want people to know where they can go for all the information, detail it out for them, let them know what they can look for and uh, how they can find information the second we end this show. Yes, so I would say if you're in the market, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen instantly. Sometimes it takes some time. You know, you might be thinking a year out, I'm recommending you do not delay. Talk to me today because I can help give you the roadmap, the bird's eye view of the process, the buying and the selling process. I have it down to almost a science and that will make the stress levels drop substantially. So you can reach me at www.dominicfonte.com. You can check out my website. You can Google my name too, by the way. And I got a lot of videos. You can send me an email at dominic at dominicfonte.com. Of course, you can reach me at 330-418-1535. And if I don't answer, just leave a voicemail. 
And if you just like a ballpark of what your home value is, this is a cool service. Check it out. Dom, what's my house worth.com. If you need a more accurate uh, price evaluation, you know, trying to figure this out and keep in mind that if we give you a price today, uh, you know, in three months, it could change again. So we have to constant watch the ebb and flow of the market. But I just want to say I appreciate your listeners tuning in and watching, and I hope I was informative and gave them a lot of good information. Because again, a good informed decision maker is a happy decision maker. <laughs> so have a great week. Thanks you too, Dominic. Dominic Fonte from Dominic Fonte and Associates are Monday morning spotlight on Stark County. We thank Dominic for joining the program this morning and being part of this. I know that we look forward to chatting with him again. That'll do it for today, though. Sit tight, though, because coming up next, we'll talk with you for a few more hours about the current events of the day. Stay with us. Hello, my name's Dominic Fonte with Cutler Real Estate. I've been in the real estate business for over 32 years, and I've helped over 2,000 families buy or sell a home. To find out more, check out my reviews at DominicFonte.com. If you're wondering what your house is worth, go to DomWhatsMyHouseWorth.com to get a complimentary home evaluation. That's DomWhatsMyHouseWorth.com. Or you can reach me at 330-418-1535. You know the best way to start your morning? Relax. We brought you to the best place in town. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. 1480 WHBC and WHBC.com.